let's begin. And we do have the Six of Swords combined with the Four of Pentacles. Letting go of something that you hold dear. Um, Four of Pentacles is the energy of um, commitment, of a foundation that you've created, you've built. And now we are letting go slowly. And the Four of Wands, the energy of a house, of a home. And for your own sake, I feel that we need to walk away. We'll see what's going on. We need peace of mind. We need to walk away. Maybe somebody left you and now we need that kind of perspective and distance. Eight of Swords. We are trapped in fear and obsessing about this, um, this separation. Okay. Bottom of the deck. The lovers, this is Gemini energy, the hermit, Virgo energy, and justice, Libra energy. I don't know what's going on, but tonight I kind of did um, a couple of readings and the overall energy was like tremendous amount of uh, major arcana. So I believe we are going through transformation. Uh, well, COVID-19 is a hell of a transformation for the world and, you know, changes, like important changes. Um, happening but anyways for you it does look like a hell of a change here in a good um, in, a, in a very positive way so probably we are not speaking we are not on speaking terms with this person we might feel lonely we might feel that we are not um, loved and appreciated and might have been a separation the hermit is the energy of can we have a breakup I need time I need space I want to be by myself but guess what coming your way we do have the lovers and the justice card balance and harmony we love this balance and harmony yeah there was a time of solitude uh two lonely worlds worlds right so aquarius on your side the person you are dealing with and mutual energies let's have current energies on your side the person you are dealing with and mutual energies okay three and let's see the possible outcome for you and the person you are dealing with bottom of the deck your energy isn't it beautiful communication and hope ace of swords communication justice hope harmony love after a period of a solitude right two worlds apart it's like it feels like two worlds coming together i don't know why it feels very romantic and very kind of soft and artistic in some way um aquarius in the past you and this person well first of all you manifested them like crazy this is the magician awareness you knew they were the one you manifested them in your life you are ready for a commitment and probably all the work was somehow on your shoulders because we do have the eight of pentacles with the magician wanting and wanting and pushing and making changes um this is the energy of transformation this is the energy the magician is the energy of enabling uh, a bigger plan is as above so below you are aware that there was a bigger plan and you aligned and you did the work to have them in your life um and just again changes positive changes for everybody involved and so on and so forth now what is the person you are dealing with we do have the nine of swords and we do have the eight of cups i believe uh, this is the energy of they felt that you were too too good to be true that's the energy of i'm afraid they will leave me i'm afraid i'm not good enough i'm afraid somebody will leave i'm anxious that my aquarius will take off what if their destiny is not me what if what if what if that is the nine of swords with the eight of cups they might have went through an emotional withdrawal too because of sufferings um for some of you aquarius actually this is a very strong energy of them going through depression anxiety suffering in silence it is um, a mental um, imbalance mental health issues and and then emotional withdrawal it, this is like sleeping in the same bed and feeling uh two worlds apart right on two different uh planets kind of and it was because they were suffering it was because they were suffering and they were not 
good in their own skin. Now mutual energies between you and this person, Ace of Cups. One was one was in love, the other one was uh, deceptive. One was uh, willing to start again, over and over again, actually, with Love Begins, multiple times, an offer on the table, and it was paired with the Seven of Swords. It was matched up with the energy of secrecy. doesn't have to be cheating. Um, can be somebody uh, not sharing their full truth or their true self, while the other person was uh, blunt, honest, um, taking responsibility for their feelings. That's the of cup, these of cups because it's, this is the cup, this is the only cup I have and I'm giving it to you, you know? That's the energy of the Ace of Cups, so. And um, it is the energy of one being loving and the other being reckless, but again, right? Um, can, can be taken in any way possible. Um, Aquarius energies right now, we do have the Seven of Wands and we do have the, the uh, Wheel of Fortune and these energies combined uh, speak of your resistance to change. Um, this is destiny, whatever is happening to you right now, the universe is in charge. Every time we see the Wheel of Fortune is saying, I know you don't see it, but it is to your benefit, it is to your advantage. The wheels are turning in your favor and Seven of Wands is you resisting, you not seeing. Uh, you not seeing the work that is done behind the scenes, um, you know, um, fighting um, a change that actually it's kind of impossible. It was meant to be. It was given to you and it was given to this um, connection that you have with somebody for a purpose. And probably you don't see it, but it is. And it is coming. And I love the harmony. I love the justice. If you are hoping to get justice in this connection of yours, it looks like it is coming in the form of a message with the Ace of Swords, in a form of a new beginning, in a form of clarity and vision, finally seeing the situation for what it, what it is, and also being yourself in the process because we do have the star and it's a beautiful energy of alignment. For some of you, it's guidance. Right now we are resisting. How about we align and we stay still and we allow the universe to do the work and then when we see the result, we're going to... Um, you know, understand what's going on. Because it's like um, going against the waves. This is how it feels right now on your side. And um, and it's paired with a destiny card. So honestly, I wouldn't do that, but I can understand how many times I've resisted stuff. And the universe showed me again and again. So, but hey, we are not perfect. We are just on a journey of learning, right? And becoming uh, our... Um, you know, better self, higher self. Now the person you are dealing with, they do have the Ace of Wands and they do have the Chariot. Might be a Cancer you are dealing with, but they are still passionate about you. This is one thing that new beginning, this is attraction, sensuality, chemistry, flirt. And with the Chariot is wanting success and wanting to take this uh, further. Um, no, they don't give up on you right now. On the contrary, they believe that is still hope. Energy between the two of you right now, both missing each other, emotional loss. You are aware, they are aware that actually, you know, that is love in this. Um, you guys invested emotions and um, and this cannot be let go just like this. Uh, the hangman, the energy of sacrifice, the energy of stagnation, the energy of nothing is happening. I'm not going to talk to her or to him. I'm not going to and vice versa but we have the energy of longing for balance, hoping and believing that this might bring a form of balance between you and this person, a sense of justice, a sense of fairness, bringing the energies um, in the universal flow because they might have been disrupted with the Seven of Swords energy, with the Eight of Swords, the Eight of Cups, uh, absolutely we got out of, out of sync. And Six of Pentacles is the energy of um, going with the flow, justice, fairness, generosity also. But again, that is silence for now, in, in this moment, current moment, you know. And there are emotions um, involved and some thought process, which is amazing, plus some passion. So now um, Aquarius, amazing energy coming your way. We have truth and we have transformation. I do feel that this is um, 
transformative truth this is how it feels it's like you in your own life in your own connection with this person in your own understanding of love and and um you know love vibes we are transforming and we are understanding something truth of course can be your true self in a connection in a separation in a divorce you know um in what you want next because you have to major arcana here so i would say judgment um the energy of second chances of a new life of a new shot and then it's paired with the death card which is the energy of transformation there is no door that closes without another one opening and this is exactly the combination of cards saying that you know one door closes and there is another one somewhere that we need to see um scorpio energy for some of you dealing with the scorpio this is you wanting them back this is you getting them back if this is about a scorpio but i don't think it's just the universe uh doing an amazing tremendous work in your life right now um towards the judgment day which is a day of reconciling with yourself with those around you the judgment day is the energy where we start new and we have a new life and we um you know we better ourselves through the process of the judgment um beautiful i love this and look at them are you kidding me the emperor and the empress i cannot make this stuff up we do have aries energy and the empress is um um right leo feminine energy but can be um can be Libra, you know, can be uh, any other energies of creation, of love, of understanding, of sensuality, of having children, having a family. And this is the combination of cards saying they are pretty determined to have an abundant family with you, um, you know, to have something that's special, withstands the test of time. It's the Emperor and the Empress. We know it's the ultimate goal in um, um, self-development, in, uh, in a bond between people. And also from a place of power and um, and generosity, especially. And mutual energies, we do have memories of love, reconciliation paired with reconciliation. So this reading for the end of March screens reconciliation in capital letters. We have again the soulmate energy, the soulmate card with the six of cups and the, the judgment, the energy of reconciliation and second chances. To this love and yes you are loved aquarius it is transformative for you it's quite an it's quite an energy of big things happening but for the love of god they have so much love for you and they want to take care of you that that is the energy of the emperor and the empress taking care and we have the lovers again the soulmate bond and the justice balance and fairness and things being uh, right again so Aquarius, let me ask for some guidance. Let us, right? Both of us, we have questions. So universe, please tell us what is supposed Aquarius to do with this soulmate of, of theirs. We do have flirt. So you are allowed to flirt with this person. Expand, <laughs> extend, sorry, extend your lighthearted energy to others. So you have to take things easily. That's easy. That's what I'm hearing. You know go light on it we have chemistry and flirt so ace of wands it's um quite an interesting energy then there is a strong magnetic attraction here so if i am not mistaken um tummy time might be quite exciting i'm just saying i call it tummy time hmm. i know let your friends help you ask for and accept support from others so some of you transformation and judgment can be heavy how about some counseling right how about having um, people around you how about having family if this is a time of major transformation and we do have give your relationship a chance work on your partnership i know and we have worth waiting for divine timing is at work in your love life and heart-to-heart -heart conversation honestly discuss your feelings with each other uh this is an important connection aquarius this is an important connection probably right now we are fighting it we won it in the past and right now we fight the uh, hands of destiny in it 
but I feel that somebody here needs to hear that, you know, this connection is important and big transformations are happening for both of you, actually. And uh, they love you so much, Aquarius, the Emperor and the Empress. So much love. Um, so, Aquarius, this is all that I have for you guys. You know I love you, right? I wish you nothing but the best. As always, please go wash your hands multiple times a day. Um, don't forget to like, share and subscribe and come see me next time. Love you. Take care.